All right, guys, we're here at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. I'm here with Travis, the brewmaster. Um, we're gonna do a tour today, and we're sitting, what, we're here at the brew house right now? Yeah, we're right here in the brew house. Uh, really happy to have you here at St. Louis Brewery. We're excited to show you how we brew Bush Light. And, you know, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be awesome. I am so excited for this. I'm talking like, this is like the head honcho, the big man who brings us all the nectar of the gods. The best job in the world. He's got the best job in the world. Uh, we're gonna go do a tour. Here we go. The barley, we take the corn, uh, we mix them together with brewing quality water, and that's where we start converting um, into fermentable sugars, which we're gonna you know, add yeast to the beer and create beer. So right now, we're just Start making the wort, it's the beginning of the brewing process. You're teasing us for that. Yeah, so after the mashing process, we have to uh, separate the grain, the residual grain particles from the wort, and we do that in a water ton. So it's a vessel that is basically a big filter. We filter the wort. Strainer almost. Yeah, it's just like a big coffee strainer, if you will. Yeah. So we call that a water ton. That's how we get the wort to go forward to the brew kettle. And that's how it becomes a post latte, right? That's, that's right. Yeah. That's the most important step. That's the coffee filter. Yeah. You say 500 barrels. How many cases of beer is that going to be? <laughs> <laughs> so there's about 14 cases of beer in one barrel. Uh, so 500 times 14. Okay. Carry the one, yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot of beer. And that's just one brew. And we'll make one brew every 24 minutes. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so when we're boiling wort, we're, we're doing that for a few reasons. We are trying to evaporate off water and, and condense the wort. Uh, and so as we do that evaporation, we're driving off some of the unwanted flavor characteristics that are volatile. So they'll actually evaporate out with the steam. And that helps, you know, give the beer a nice, clean, crisp uh, flavor. So it's a really important part of the process. The other part of the process for boiling wort is that's when we add the hops. So hops, which are the spice of beer, that's what gives beer its bitterness. That's what, you know, gives beer a nice, you know, hoppy aroma. Um, that comes from right here during this step in the wort boiling process. It's cool in here. Yeah, it feels so good in yeah. here. So this is our hop weighing room. Um, it's cool in here because it's important for the hops, you know, for the quality of the hops. We want them to stay cool right up until the point that we use them. So we, we make sure the room's nice and cool. And it's, it's a nice break from the hop brew house where we're <laughs> boiling the wort and come into the hop room. Uh, but we have a lot of different varieties of hops that we use from domestic varieties that are grown in the U.S. We also import hops from, from Europe and other places in the world. So each beer brand gets a different recipe of hops. And then each time we add the hops to the kettle, depending on how much bitterness we want, how much aroma we want, we'll decide at what time during the boil of the wort do we add those, those yeah. hops. It's like uh, making a cake fish. That's right. So this could be, you know, like they're in the process of weighing out some hops. And so we'll have these if you want. You can just take a big sniff of those. And you can see how it has a really nice hoppy aroma. Well, um, strong yeah, too, yeah, very strong aroma. So the brewer will weigh those out, and they'll you know decide at which time to put it into the vessel. Yeah, so I just got in the uh, visitors register they've had since 1984 um, and these, these are the only pages that they've filled out in that many years so pretty, uh, pretty elite group that we're now in now we're in 
a filtered beer cellar. Yep. So we have tanks that we store the beer in once we've made it to final, you know, specification, if you will. And then one of the last things we do before uh, we release the beer to be packaged is we have to taste it. And so part of my job every day. And that's why I'm here. That's why you're here. here. Yeah, so we really need your opinion because um, we, we want to know how good this bush line is. Well, yeah, and it's like, what, it says 37 degrees in here? Yeah, it's, it's a chilly 37. Oh my God, it's cold in here. <laughs> Nailed it. This is, I've been told that this was brewed this morning, put in here this morning. This is the freshest bush light in the entire world, straight from the tank. Um, so we're gonna, I can't wait. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh my God, that's cold. They talk a lot about like when you achieve your dreams, what it's gonna feel like. This is what that feels like right here. Drinking the freshest nectar of the gods in the world with the guy who makes it happen. Yeah, we're really glad that you came, Miles. I'm glad that you got to taste some fresh, you know, nectar of the gods right out of this beer tank. You know, we do it every day, but you know, it's yeah, tough, tough job you have yeah. here. I'm glad you can do it now. And now that you're a, a brewmaster and you know how to taste beer, you can come taste anytime you want. You guys heard it here. Where do I get a bat so I can get in here all the time? Well, who do I got to talk to for that? Yeah. <laughs> we could probably set that up. I don't know. Yes, we'll see. Let's go. We'll see. This is what I do. I blackmail him on camera, so he has to say yes. That's right. Now I have to. I'm committed. <laughs>